Hey there, in this lesson we are going to enhance the properties of this component we just created in the previous lessons. Now this component has a onSelect property, but when we hover over it, it doesn't show any sign that's a clickable button. Because we just have an image and a text. There's not a button actually. So let's go to our component and edit it to make it look a little bit nicer. If I go to the components, that's where I created the component, I want to make it have this button uh, feeling. So I want it to highlight at least the borders to show that something is hover, hovering over it. And I'm going to insert a button. Okay, so I'm going to insert a button. And I'm going to put this button on top of everything. Okay, now I'm going to style this button to remove the color, the text, only leave the border because this button has the on hover border color and that will make the difference. So here on style and theme, this is already the new button. I don't think that will work. Let me see here if I have the border color. No, this is actually when I inserted a button. Now it's inserting the, the new controls and this control doesn't have that um, many properties yet. So I'm going to find the classic one, that's the old button. Power Apps just changed this recently and this button is the new one. It's very good for theming because we just set the theme in one place and it will apply to this button, but it doesn't have this border color right now, maybe in the future. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to insert here in the classic, the classic button. I don't know for how long this will stay here, but this is the option now. In case in the future they change, they remove this button, for example, and we are left only with the new button, we will need to find another way to do this. Or let's hope that the new button have also these properties has these properties. Okay. In order to restart, let's remove the text of this button. Then we don't need to worry about the text colors. Now let's remove the background colors of it. I am going to remove the background color and also these colors in the bottom that are the, the pressed color. Let's make it transparent. And the hover color, let's make it transparent. Otherwise, when I hover over this button, it will fill with a color that will hide everything that's behind it. Okay, if I press on my Alt key on my keyboard and hover it over it, now the button is here, but I don't see anything. Let's play with the colors of the borders. So the border color, I'm going to put this light blue and the hover border color here in the bottom, I'm going to select this darker blue. There is also the pressed color. I'm going to remove the pressed color here, this formula, and also select the dark blue. Okay, now if I hover over it, it will change the color. If I press, it will keep that dark color because it's selected the same. Let's change a little the, the border width especially for when I hover over it or click, it's too wide. So I'm going to go to the border with hover border like here, focused border thickness. By default is four, let me put also two. That's the same as the normal state. Now it's the same border. If I select the button, I can also change the border radius. Let's say, let's put six. Okay, now it's a rounded button. Let's go back to the app and look and see how it looks like. Going to screens here in the bottom of my screen. We have the buttons here. We see that the buttons are not in the correct place. This is possibly because these components, these controls are inside the container. We added in the last class inside the container to organize and this caused that. So I'm going to select everything. Ctrl X and then Ctrl V again just to paste and now it comes in the correct way. It didn't identify very well once I changed 
Sometimes this happens inside containers. Hope they fix soon. Okay, now we see the borders here. They don't look very nice because there's one problem. If we go back to the component and look at it, we can see that the border of the button, it's kind of going outside the button area. And since the button starts in the position zero, it goes out of the area of the control. In order to make sure the border stays inside the control, inside the component, I'm going to start in the position X1 and Y1. And then the border is inside of the area of the component. But the border here in the bottom and in the right, it's outside. Because the width and the height of the button needs to adapt to the width or high of the control. So in this case, for the width, I'm going to make the width of the button to be the parent dot width, width minus two, just to make sure it stays inside of the area. Because we have one here in the X, we started with the position one, and we want to finish in the position that's one before the end. That's why minus two, because the width of the button, it should be smaller than the width of the parent, that's the component. Same for the high. So it will be parent dot high. That means the component high minus two. Now the button is totally inside the area of the control. If I go back to the screens, I should see the buttons with the border now. If I play, I can see that I have the borders showing completely. completely. Okay, now the icon is too big, it's too close to the border. I'm going to decrease a little this image. So I'm going to select the image and just decrease a little the high here and reposition it accordingly. And the text, I'm going to decrease a little the font, let's say 11. Okay, it's looking better. Let's see in the screen. Now it looks very nice, but we can see that once I click, I'm clicking in the buttons, nothing is happening because the onSelect is not attached to the button, but to the icon and the text, and they are behind the button, so they are not reached once I click. In order to fix that, let's go back to the component and remove this formula here from the onSelect of the image, for example, and also of the label I'm going to delete here. Actually, I'm, I'm pressing Ctrl X to cut. And then in the button, in the on select of the button, is where I'm going to paste the formula. Com icon dot on select. That's the action that we just defined in the previous class. Now, once I click in the button, I'm going to be the I'm going to be calling the function that's passed in the on select of the component. Let's see if it works. I'm going to play. Now once I click here. It will call the on select, that's the navigate to the home screen. And it navigated. If I click here in the edit, it will call the on select, that's edit the editing the selected item of the gallery. So I clicked, it went to the other screen. Okay, very nice. The component is done. Of course, there are adjustments such as colors that we could make as input. Because right now we just have text and image. You could improve it if you want, but that's the basic of basis of how to build components. Now we can delete this one that was an example. And we have the four buttons that we need. In the next lesson, we are going to see how to open the contact on WhatsApp, passing the phone number and on phone. So stay tuned, see you in the next class.